Hello Team 71. It is time for the Science Awards for the first semester. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not there. Hope you guys are having a pretty good solid team day. Definitely look forward to seeing everybody when I get back. But uh, I want to make sure that I made some comments for those people that I had gone and selected for their Science Awards. So without further ado, um, please remember that a lot of students, a lot of you students that come through the science class are doing a great, great job. However, there are some students who for whatever reason, they, they're choosing to go and put in extra effort. They're taking their time when writing their names so that they're legible. Um, they're doing the best that they can, and they truly are wanting to bring themselves to an, a new level in science. So please understand that there's another semester to go. There's another chance for awards. And uh, I just want to say great job to everyone. All right. So first up is the Clipboard Award. And this Clipboard Award, uh, these are the two students that are the students that I always think of when it comes to just being those students who are at the ready with the information, they've done their reading, they've done their homework, they're ready to rock and roll. These two students, our first student, our first recipient and award goes to Mr. Nick Duncan. Right on. Good job, Nick. Come on up. Get your award. Get your award. The next student for the clipboard award is Miss Anastasia Butrin. Very good. Excellent. All right. Uh, please uh, applause to those students. Uh, let's see, the next set of awards, I call them the Beaker Awards. These are the students who uh, are a little on the edge when it comes to doing their science work. They're, they're kind of teetering, tottering between the, the comfortable and the crazy, um, yet they, they always put in their best. They're always doing their best. They're very talkative. They're very helpful to both me and other students in the class. Um, this is the Beaker Award, and those awards go to... Miss Katie Conway, right on, come on up. Good job, good job, good job. Next up, we have Mr. Adam Boggs. All right, buddy, come on over. Get your awards. Good job, you two, good job. Okay, and uh, the last and final award uh, is called the Lab Code Award, and this is definitely the award that goes to the student who just has this fiber running through them that that oozes science and uh, to be fair uh, us teachers we only were allowed to choose five students and I, I I'm hoping that my my fellow teacher friends are not gonna give me a hard time on this but there are two students actually that really do a fantastic job of working together with each other um, they help everyone in the class. They're always pushing me to keep my lessons up and running. They keep <laughs> pressing me. What's the next assignment, Mr. Millett? What can we do next? What can we do next? Mr. Millett, there's an error here. Or, you know, we need this resource. Or we need this book. These students, through no fault of their own, are pushing each other and pushing me. And I totally appreciate it. I thank you very much. The Lab Coat Award goes to both Miss Liz Dion. I miss Abby Goyet. Great job, folks. Excellent job. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, keep posted. I'll try and go and touch base with you folks either later today and or on Monday. We'll do a little Skyping. All right? Have a great one, folks. Take care. Have a good weekend.